What's going on everyone? Welcome back to State 48 Turtle and Tortoise. I am Hayden and today, as the title and thumbnail says, we're going to be feeding some fish to the tortoises. Um, let us know what you guys think. It's something called cuddle bone, which we're going to see shortly. And I'm going to describe to you a little bit later what it is. But first, we've got to get the turtles fed. The pond is extra full because we live in a desert and we never get rain, but it's quote unquote monsoon season. And we had just been getting hammered the past like month and a half, two months with rain, which we're grateful for and thankful for because it makes things green. But it's really hot and humid. And, uh, but anywho, the pond is super full right now. Look at that guys, using my new tripod. You see that in the shadow? Ooh, it's sick. Um, gotta feed these turds. I just, when I came out, I saw like three or four of them basking. So I'm really grateful to see that. These guys have been feeding twice a day lately because they've been eating it. Let's see if we can see any of them. Shouldn't take long. There you go. A couple of the albinos. They like to pretend like they're shy, but they're not. One of the male albinos. Got a normal female, 100% pet to roll her. Love him and me. There's one of the that's the biggest albino right here we have. But anywho guys, they're gonna be eating. We're gonna be feeding the fish some cuddle bones. Chickens are doing good. Turtles are doing great. But without further ado guys, how about we go down to the good old fashioned pet store and pick up some cuddle bone. I'll go ahead and I'll see you guys there. Peace. All right guys, we are here at the local pet store getting some stuff for today's video. As we just talked about, the cuddle bone, which I just told you guys about for the tortoise's beak. This is actually for birds, but does the same thing. As it says on the back, it helps them with their beaks as well. But something coming soon is, I need your guys' opinion on this. What type of aquarium do we do if we do a baby turtle aquarium? Or maybe over here, let's or do we do one of these? A mini waterland tub for the turtles. Let me know what you guys think if we should do a little waterland tub or if we should do an epic aquarium for some baby turtles in the new reptile room coming soon. We're gonna go ahead and head back to the house and give these to the turtles. Alrighty guys, we are back. Did our quick trip to the uh, pet smart. We got our bag right there. We got a head of lettuce. For the baby turtles, of course. Actually, usually what I'll do is I'll throw a leaf into the water turtles because they like the lettuce too, I guess. Um, and it's good for them. But baby turtles are doing great. We're gonna go ahead and just throw them in ahead of lettuce, just like that. They survived the storm last night without a problem, although it kind of does worry me whenever it's raining really hard, but they've survived this whole entire monsoon season outside like champs. But what I'm gonna do real quick is explain to you guys what cuddle bone is. So you guys saw in the store, the stuff I bought is actually for, check out the merch, just not out there. If you're interested, shoot me an email. Um, but cuddle bone, from what I have understood, it's a type of fish, cuttlefish or whatever. Um, but what the cuddle bone does, this guy's trying to lay an egg. I'll take it, you laying an egg? Um, basically what the cuddle bone is, and you can buy it specific for tortoises. Um, it's literally just crushed cuttlefish that's dried out. And these are all the bones and it provides great calcium for them. These are for birds, so they have this little thing on them I'm gonna remove. So I don't need that. Boom, there we go, got it off. So we got two cuddle bones here. I'm gonna throw one into the baby turtles. I don't know if they'll want it because they have got delicious lettuce. All right, sorry about that guys. Real quick, we're gonna see if the tortoises will eat the cuttlefish. As you can see, she's got a little bit of an overgrown beak. Hers isn't problematic by any means. Um, it's weird because the tortoises naturally have interest in this stuff, but if you can kind of hear that noise, see that? Kind of helps wear away their beak. Um, really really good for them if your tortoise has an overgrown beak this is one really simple way 
to kind of help um, wear their beak down a little bit. Sometimes you can even file it down with a Dremel um, or even clip it, but clipping it's a little bit risky. If anything, I would say uh, I would say a Dremel would be your best bet, but then you gotta make sure it doesn't overheat. But if you guys give these tortoises cuddle bones every so often, that will significantly help them um, wear their beak downs, beaks down over time. So I definitely suggest it. Um, it's just a good practice. These bigger tortoises are usually not an issue. The other thing you can do with little tortoises is give them like a stone, like a brick or something like that. Always feed them their food on top of it because as they bite away at that, it'll kind of help wear down their uh, their beaks a little bit. Um, but then also just the supplement of calcium is phenomenal for the tortoises. But that's my suggestion on if your tortoise has an overgrown beak, this is the easiest way to fix it. Next thing you could do is Dremel it down like I just said. Um, I just get nervous with Dremeling because you can really warm warm up the beak as you do that and you could cause harm to the tortoise. So really only do what you're comfortable with. If your tortoise doesn't have an overgrown beak, I would suggest you just do what you're comfortable with. Um, but feed them some cuddle bones from the age of tiny babies all the way up to, you know, medium sized tortoises, bigger tortoises, cuddle bones not gonna have a whole lot of effect, but um, it's really beneficial. You can buy the cuddle bones like I bought, which are for birds. Just make sure there's no additives or anything and you take those little metal rods off. Um, but guys, cuddle bones are huge. Look at this freaking chicken. Just been sitting here trying to lay an egg forever. Um, but I threw a cuddle bone in there. These guys are getting massive. I measured the bigger one of these hats four and a half inches already, which is crazy. I think they're just barely a year old almost. Um, but I'm gonna throw a couple cuddle bones around for the tortoises and let them kind of do what they wanna do with them, you know? Let these tortoises eat some fish. So I'm gonna unwrap a couple more. We're gonna throw them around and uh, I'll be right back. All right, I threw another one over there. I'm just gonna leave one here. I'll probably check back in later and see if the tortoises eat them. But guys, I just wanted to throw out this quick video to you guys showing you a simple way to feed your tortoises some fish and help them wear down their beaks a little bit. I'm gonna probably throw one more here to the box turtles, one more for the tortoises over there. But other than that, guys, it's gonna be a wrap for the video. I apologize for it being a little bit shorter of a video, but I appreciate your guys' support. And maybe in a future video, if any of you guys are really having the beak problems, I will show you guys what it looks like to dremel down a tortoise beak on one of my tortoises that obviously is having problems. But nonetheless, guys, if you guys could like the video, subscribe as always. I appreciate the support. You guys are phenomenal. We are closing on 600 subscribers so fast. But again, guys, the albino tortoises are so thankful for you and all the support that you give us. And we'll go ahead and catch you guys next time. Peace.